Sun and liftoff of Discovery, hoisting harmony to the heavens. Hello everyone, today we are taking a look at the Falcon Heavy and what to expect in the coming months. The Falcon Heavy is easily one of the most unique and fascinating operational launch vehicles in the world right now. Not only is it one of the most powerful, but it's also very cost effective. This is thanks to reusing not one, but all three boosters on the rocket. However, while the Falcon Heavy has a long list of unique features, it has not been launched in years. Fortunately, this is set to change in a big way very soon. The Falcon Heavy's last launch was in the middle of 2019. Now in 2022, there are multiple launches scheduled for the heavy lift launch vehicle only months away. Specifically, the closest launch is USS F-44 expected to lift off in only a few months this summer. This is in addition to even more launches planned later this same year. If all goes according to plan, we will once again see the Falcon Heavy take off more than once this year. No matter what rocket you are working on, it involves a complex and time-consuming process to not only develop, but manufacture, test, and finally launch. The Falcon Heavy has had a very interesting and unique development in launch background. While it has not been in use in recent years, it still has a lot to offer the space industry. Here I will go more in depth into the Falcon Heavy's upcoming launches, past success, and why it has been so long since we last saw it launch. While this is likely to change not long from now, the Falcon Heavy has the highest operational payload capacity out of any launch vehicle in use today. However, despite its unique power capabilities and cost, it has been multiple years since its last launch. The first Falcon Heavy launch was around four years ago in February of 2018. This was the launch vehicle's demonstration flight, and was viewed as a massive success for SpaceX and Falcon Heavy. The payload was the infamous Tesla Roadster which was sent into space with a dummy human in the driver's seat. As intended, soon after launch both of the side boosters landed safely on land at almost the exact same time. Unfortunately, the center core which was intended to land on a drone ship was unsuccessful. Despite this slight failure the launch had shocked the space industry, and provided confidence in this next generation heavy lift launch vehicle. A bit over a year later, in April of 2019, the Falcon Heavy lifted off once again for its second ever flight. This mission was the first time the rocket carried an actual customer payload on the top which was a heavy communication satellite purchased by the Arab League. In this mission, not only was the payload successfully delivered, but all three boosters landed safely after launch. The center core however was once again lost this time not during the landing, but during the transport back to land. The last and most recent Falcon Heavy launch occurred only months after the second launch in June of 2019. This specific mission supported the US Air Force National Security Space Launch Certification process for the Falcon Heavy. The original contract price was $165 million, which was later reduced, in big part due to the military's agreement, to fly the mission with reused side boosters. With so much available payload capacity, this mission also launched some other secondary payloads. This included a large list of additional satellites and general payloads headed for space. This mission was a big deal as the Falcon Heavy reused the boosters from the previous flight for the first time. Once again the side booster successfully landed however, the core stage was destroyed after impacting the Atlantic Ocean. I just did a quick overview of the Falcon Heavy's launch history which highlights many things including the fact that it has been very long since the last mission. Thankfully, this is set to change in only a few months. The first and closest mission I want to highlight is for the US Space Force. Specifically, this mission consists of a Falcon Heavy launching a classified payload sometime this summer, likely June or even May. This marks the first classified flight of Falcon Heavy. The contract was originally awarded to SpaceX for a price of under 30% of that of a typical Delta IV Heavy launch. The payload includes two separate satellites, and at least two additional rideshare payloads, including Tetra-1, and will weigh roughly 3.7 tons, or 8,200 pounds at launch. The payloads will be launched in a direct geosynchronous orbit, necessitating for the first time a planned partially expendable launch, that is, to deliberately expand the center core which lacks grid fins and landing gear, needed for a landing, while the two side boosters will be targeting a simultaneous recovering on two drone ships. This mission is extremely unique for many reasons. As I just mentioned, due to the payload destination, the attempted landing of the three boosters will be very different than your typical Falcon Heavy launch. While the core stage will be lost, both side boosters will attempt to land at sea on two different drone ships. This has never been attempted before by SpaceX, and will be very exciting to watch. The price of this mission is around $130 million, as a portion of a larger contract signed with SpaceX. This mission was originally scheduled for quarter 1 2022, but it has been pushed to May for 39A availability and payload issues. This is in addition to a second classified flight with Falcon Heavy and the US Space Force, scheduled for quarter 2 of this year. The next launch expected to happen this year has to do with Viasat. 
The Falcon Heavy was originally slated to launch the Viasat 2 satellite, but due to delays among other things, an Ariane 5 launch vehicle was used instead. Viasat maintained the launch option over time and will launch its next COP band satellite, which will serve either the Asia Pacific, Europe, the Middle East, Africa, or the American regions, using Falcon Heavy. The upper stage of Falcon Heavy is expected to deploy the satellite into a near geosynchronous orbit that will include a coasting stage several hours long between burns. Archers was added as an independent secondary payload in late September 2021. This is another launch we could see not long from now with the Falcon Heavy, assuming everything goes according to plan. Lastly, there are two more possible Falcon Heavy launches we could see happen this year. The first is with NASA a part of the Discovery program. In August of this year, the Falcon Heavy will launch the 2.6-ton, 5,700-pound Psyche Orbiter mission into a heliocentric orbit, aiming for a Mars gravity assist. From there, the Psyche spacecraft will visit the Psyche asteroid in the main asteroid belt. Not only this, but the mission will carry a secondary payload named Janus, which will study small binary near-Earth asteroids. It's estimated that this mission cost around $117 million. Finally, there is one more expected Falcon Heavy launch this year once again with the US Space Force. For the price of $317 million, in quarter 3 of 2022, a Falcon Heavy will launch a classified payload. Specifically, this marks the first SpaceX launch of the Phase 2 USAF contract, likely to be on a Falcon Heavy, and likely requiring a vertical integration building and an increased fairing size. It will use three new boosters, with the center core in an expendable configuration, no grid fins or landing gear, while the two side boosters will be targeting a simultaneous landing on drone ships, as the mission requirements are similar to a VSS F-44 mission. Similar to some of the other launches, there is a lot that could change regarding dates and the plan. Now that I have highlighted some of the upcoming missions with the Falcon Heavy and the long break it's had, it brings up the question of why the launch vehicle has had so few launches in the last few years. There are many factors that could have impacted this, but I want to highlight a few I find most convincing. The first has to do with the success of the Falcon 9. After developing the Falcon 9, SpaceX worked to improve and increase the launch vehicle's performance. SpaceX was so successful that the Falcon 9 became a lot more powerful than expected. So powerful that a lot of planned missions for the Falcon Heavy ended up getting moved to the Falcon 9. This along with the work and shift to Starship, pushed a lot of the opportunities away for Falcon Heavy. Leading to multiple years without a single launch. Conclusion. The Falcon Heavy is a fascinating and exciting launch vehicle. As of right now it's one of the most powerful in the world, and offers unique capabilities thanks to its power, along with partial reusability. However, despite these special features, it has been years since the last time it launched. Fortunately, this is changing very soon with multiple launches planned for later this year. We will have to wait and see what happens in the near future, and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.